With data validation, you can control what can be entered in a cell and also show a message to let people know what the rules are and show an error message if they put something invalid into the cell. So we'll see how to set it up and then how to show those messages. In this cell, we want people to enter a number. So I've selected that cell and on the data tab, I'll click data validation. And in the data validation window on the settings tab, the first choice is what I want to allow. By default, everything is set up to accept any value. So you could type a number or characters, a date, but we want to allow only numbers. So I'll click this drop down arrow and there are whole numbers or decimal numbers. I want whole numbers. Then I have to select what range of numbers I want to allow. So from this drop down, I can select either equal to a specific number or less than or greater than numbers or between a low and high number. So I'll go with between and I want to allow anything between one and 10. Then I'll click OK. So that's the basic rule. Now, if I click in this cell and type a two, it's fine. But if I try and type 11, I get an error message that tells me the value I entered is not valid. It doesn't tell me why or what I should have put in that cell, but I could retry, put in a different number or just cancel what I entered. So it's back to the previous value. To make this more helpful to people, you can put in a message that appears as soon as they click on the cell. So if I go back to data validation, there's an input message tab. So I'll click on that. By default, this option is turned on, so it will show an input message. If I put something in these boxes, I can put a message and optionally I can put a, a title as well. So I'm going to type whole number. And then for the message, you can only have up to 255 characters, so you can't write too much, but I'll put a message that says you have to put in a whole number between one and 10. So now this title will appear in bold text and the message will appear just in normal text. I'll click OK. And now as soon as I select that cell, my message appears. If I click away, it disappears. It doesn't appear like a comment when I point to the cell, just when I click on it. So that input message prepares people before they start typing in the cell. And another option is a message that can appear if they've typed something incorrect in the cell. So we'll go back to data validation. And on this time I'm going to the error alert tab. And again, there's a checkbox here. So this is turned on. It's going to show an error alert if you type something invalid in that cell. And there are options as to what should happen. By default, it's just going to stop you. You won't be able to enter anything invalid. There are other choices though. You could show a warning and you can also just give them information. Normally they should be between one and 10, but in some circumstances, they might need to type a higher number. So I'm going to show a warning so that people will know it's out of the range that should be entered, but they can decide whether to go ahead. And I'll type a title and an error message here. So for the title, again, it will be whole number. Please enter a whole number between one and 10, but they will be able to override that and type in a higher number, but they're aware of the normal range. So I'll click okay, click away from that cell. We still get the input message when the cell is selected. This time I'll type a 12, press enter, and I get my message telling me to please enter a whole number between one and 10, but I get the option to continue. So I can say yes, and it accepts that value even though it's out of the range. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.